Hi, welcome to River's Edge Homestead WIO. My name's Jeff, just Jeff, and I just wanted to welcome you to our new channel. Um, I'm sitting here pondering next to the River's Edge and wanted to give you kind of a little bit of a background of, of where we're coming from and what you can expect from our channel. Uh, we currently have about eight acres. Uh, we moved here about three years ago and uh, we're, we're currently uh, putting in uh, new infrastructure, putting in water lines, putting in gardening stuff. Um, we have been gardening here for uh, the past three years and we keep expanding our garden and so um, I've, I've had friends that were interested in some of the things that I was doing and I thought there might be more people out there that might be interested so I decided to uh, pass on all this knowledge. Some of the things that I'm going to show you uh, for that pertain to homesteading are new builds, repurposing things, uh, lots of gardening, lots of uh, planters, a lot of composting, uh, pretty much anything to do with uh, the homestead as far as um, preparing or growing your own food, being more self-sufficient. Um, a lot of these projects all try and, and portray things that uh, I try and do on, um, you know, not necessarily a daily basis, but um, throughout the seasons. We do get four seasons here, and uh, there are certain things that we need to do to prepare ourselves. Um, we're in an area where we're at about 5,300 feet in elevation. Um, we're zoned, uh, currently I believe we're zoned 4 or zone 4A. Uh, um, we are along the river, so uh, uh, currently um, we are, our property is split between uh, two sections. We have an upper section and a lower section. The upper section um, is primarily sand and sandy loam. The bottom section is primarily river bottom, which is a lot of gravel. We have uh, a lot of cottonwoods, a lot of uh, um, shade in certain areas, and so uh, they present different challenges. One of the first projects that I'm going to work on that I need to get done before winter really sets in is I've got to redo my pig shelter. Uh, we have two Cooney pigs and I also need to clean up all the leaves and all the branches within the pen mainly because the pen has a pretty steep hill on the back of it and I'm, I'm afraid that with the leaves being so slick that uh, they're going to hurt themselves and so uh, I, I, the first video that I'll probably post will pertain to what it takes to clean the pen. And Before I wrap up this introduction um, I do have one little thing that I want to do and I'm going to bring you along. I've got a, a deck that I have a loose board, actually it's a raised board, and I'm worried that uh, every time I go out I keep stubbing my toe and I'm worried that when the snow flies that I'm going to be catching it with my snow shovel. So uh, I'm going to bring you along and show you a quick uh, about 10-15 minute fix. And afterwards we'll uh, go ahead and wrap it up. You can see right there they were building this. They missed stud underneath, or the joist I should say. And so what we're going to do is, as you can see, it's really flexible and I keep catching it on the foot. It's a tripping hazard. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to uh, put in a 2x4 underneath, screw it to that joist, and then I'm going to screw this down so it's tight so we don't have a tripping hazard. Right up there is where we're going to be working. So what we're going to do is I'm going to screw this in. This isn't really going to be seen. I'm not too concerned about that. sturdy fix. Now we're going to go up on top and I will show you how that's going to be screwed in from up on top. One thing I like to do is I like to use a coated deck screw. 
uh, since this is all treated deck that's going to uh, help ensure that it lasts a little bit longer. I also like to wear gloves um, just because it helps protect my fingers. So what we're going to do is we're going to step down on this and that's got to screw right in there. Put the other one in. Oops. And now that's going to be a lot better. When it heats up, it's going to flatten out. In fact, I think I'll maybe even put one more in. I'll go and get another screw and see if we can really get that to suck down. But that's uh, a quick and easy way to to uh, fix uh, a board like that. Now later on this uh, spring, when I have a little more time, I might cut part of that board out and just replace the whole thing. I've got some extra uh, decking that I kept from this project, and uh, I'll just put in a brand new piece, and it should be uh, should work out real slick. But for now, that's uh, no longer a tripping hazard. Thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe and the like button.